Good morning, Galaxy of Heroes. Uh, apologies, this has been loaded, prepped for the voiceover for a while, but um, yeah, I hadn't got around to it. I uploaded a few other things, and um, and also Paul and Scotty from the Escape Pod cast uh, invited me to take part in a, a an all European stroke British. Uh, show yeah which was great it was real real fun um so did that as well that was pretty cool um also had the um i tried out vulture droid um in phase three of four the geonosian ship combat mission and had great success with that stuck oh, absolutely i'm still shocked that that one um yeah so there's been stuff going on. This, I believe, is the phase two, which is why Asajj is missing from here because she's going to be in the Dooku squad. Um, so uh, this time around, yeah, Mother Tao's in lead. I've got to be honest, um, I don't think I've yet to try an Asajj lead in the Geonosian TB. I think it's always I, I'm always going Mother Tao's in. So, gear level wise, all my night sisters are at least gear 12. Um, and I believe that old Daka and. Um, and possibly. No, Mother Towson wasn't. She is now. My Mother Towson has now gone to 13. So, this was prior to that. So, she's gear 12. Yeah. There you go. So, we've got a Shack T and arc trooper third round um i'm hitting the whichever one doesn't have retribution at the moment until we can get uh some play going and whatnot i'm just trying to spread it around a bit and just not take too many hits until then <laughs> This is where Talia can come in handy over, um, well, normally Spirit, I suppose. But let's get rid of that. He's the Reviver, so we kind of want him gone, the Medic, which is why, part of the reason why I'm focusing down on him, the second part was that he was stunned and he had Retribution, so as you can see, that's how I was trying to tackle this, just not really giving the clones too much... Um, reason to attack everyone but no doesn't always work but um yeah it's mother towels in lead so uh so there's various ways that we can get her back into play and as you can see she is back into play now uh left i don't know why i left shack till last but i did yay we're through to the end We've got Mace, who's that? Clone Sarge, Medic, and that's probably a leader there, is it? A commander or something? I don't know. All I know is that I want that Sarge gone as much. Oh, it's a clone trooper. I want Sarge gone as soon as I can. If I can. Let's get rid of that buff there. I'm stuck behind Jedi Vanguard taunt now, so. We've got the additional heal in Talia plus the cleanse. Um, yeah, and just whittling our way through. Clone Sarge is... Uh, medic healed. Clone Sarge was almost down there. Or would have been with a decent... See, the, the amount of damage that bugger does to Hook. It's not nice. Not nice at all. Gone. Yay. And also that medic's going to be, well, he's getting pretty low as well. So uh, hopefully with a few more towels in basics. Oh, I'm going to go for a big hit, yeah. Yay. So no more reviving from the clones. So the only one that can revive now is Jedi Vanguard, is it? Oh, he's gone as well. So, yeah, looking pretty promising here. Go on there, the sisters. Do it for yourself. Uh -huh. See what I did there? Yeah, right. So, yay. There you go. 
pretty sure this is phase, it will say, yeah, phase two or four. So, um, here's my bounty hunter um, round, and this is fairly straightforward. Um, again, all of these take a, a, a little while. Um, oh, I've got Zam in there. I do like Zam. I do, I do. Sam's a great little tune. Um, and can be very destructive. Of course, here, um, Boba Fett's uh, missile thing. I forget what it's called. I want to say it's Exterminate, but I don't think it is. I think it might be Death Troopers. Whatever the ability is, um, characters can't be revived on that. And also, my Django has the non-leader Zeta, which means that anyone killed on his turn also can't be revived. So, there's two tunes that can uh, effectively negate uh, clone medic and the revive ability that he has. Pop some more thermals on. They they can never have enough thermals, can they? Just liking the fact that uh, Django and Boba, whilst they have their, well, until they die the first time, can attack anyone they're not locked into, focused on taunters, um, I'm just waffling now, and I pop some more. So we've got there three thermals on Jedi Knight Guardian, Jedi Guardian Knight, Jedi Guardian Knight. Yeah, whatever she is, she's Jedi Guardian, definitely. So there she goes, and two on the consular. I'm just not going to throw out any more thermals here. We're about to go into phase three. Da da. The clone Sarge. Who else we got there? I don't know. We'll see. Clone Captain. Uh, I don't know who the other Taunter is. Yeah, you got the stun there. That's about it. Should have used Bobas to just clear at least one of the taunters there. I think I'm working on the it's stunned. Let's just take a there. Yeah, there you go. So we finally clear there. And we oh, can't quite put him down. No stun. Got a thermal out though. I think I'm waiting for Django to have another go here, hopefully. To put, yeah, there you go. So he is not going to be revived. <clears throat> Whatever happens here. Um, I think the other thing is, is he was actually need a medic here to be revived. And I've just realized that there wasn't one in this round. So, yeah, yay. Waffled on for ages about something that couldn't happen anyway. But that sounds about right. Come on, these, I mean, these, as you can see, are also speeded up, but it just shows you just how, how much tenacity and how much just more protection, health and everything else a level 92 gear 12 tune has. Ugh, so we've got fives in here. Um, yeah, fives is a bit of a brute. By a bit, of a bit of a brute, I mean he is an absolute brute. And these are all level 94s. And we want to get rid of one of those taunts. Get some more thermals going. As, oh. Okay, slowly getting through there. Protection. He says as <clears throat> another taunt pops, yay. 
And now, of course, I'm getting low on, well, I'm getting low. I don't have that B2. There we are. Let's get him back in. Oh, so we've lost Bosk. This is, um, to quote the famous line, this is uh, problematic. Very problematic. I've got horrible fit. Do we do this? I mean, slowly working my way into them, but not really making too much difference as yet. Zam's about to go by the looks of it. This might be um, Dengar in with a cheeky heel. There goes Zam. Uh, I think that this one is uh, an unhappy ending. Yep. Yep. That was a uh, one bridge too far, just to show my age. Okay, so where are we going now? Um, right, so this one should be a pretty quick one. Um, yeah, I was... I can't even remember what it was. It was, oh, I think I had family over. I had guests or whatever, but basically by the time I got to get on to the game um, my fabulous guild had already filled all platoons which meant that I had the luxury of, of literally just using everyone um, and this one as you can see is uh, actually no I must have deployed yeah otherwise Malak wouldn't be in a trailer squad all right, I don't know what I'm saying here. Okay, um, yeah, I do like that. If you can, depending on, you know, obviously it's situational, but if you can take Nihilus into the next phase with um, oh, Annihilate Primed, it makes such a difference, basically. Just find the biggest, baddest one that there is on there and just... Both, they're gone and they ain't being revived yeah yeah that's if oh, obviously the caveat there is if you can so we've got here clone sarge arc trooper oh I don't like arc troopers I know the ones that throw the big batter booms I can't remember but we don't like them don't like any of them actually their kind isn't welcome here Let's kill him. Right. Bit of Treya just delay. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Marauder. Bit of Treya there just to uh, extend the cooldowns on any abilities. Just to try and keep them from doing all those horrible AoEs that they tend to do. Oh, get a bit of daze on a retribution. Taunting tank is always nice. It means you can just hit the buggers without any response, retort, counter, whatever, yeah. Boom. So, on to the last one. So we've got fives again. Yeah, we've got some horrible... Right. We had fives. There you go. <clears throat> so as my voice goes, so does fives. And if you see, I don't know if you noticed, but Medic just tried the revive. Try all you like, mate. He was annihilated. He gone. He not coming back. Not in this hollow table round anyway. Sorry slurp of coffee um, yeah so now we're just going to try and think um, by the looks of it I'm focused now on medic because I don't want him reviving any other clothes there he goes and there she goes and then we've just got Vanguard who also can revive so I think that's why I'm now focusing on 
Vanguard. I just don't want anyone I've killed to come back. Thank you, Malak, for that. Good luck, by the way. Hopefully, um, we'll, lots of you now are da -da, getting Darth Malak. Um, yeah, yeah, he's back. So where are we going here? All right, Seppi Droids, is this? This looks like it's Seppi Droids. Oh, right, Seppi Droids with Newt Kicker. There you go. <coughs> so my Newt has um, the Zeta on him. So that's going to just add a world of pain. Well, actually it's not true, is it? It's not a world of, world of pain, but it will assist in cutting through all these high level tenacious Jedis and clones. Mm. Coffee. Very nice. Oh. Uh, right. Uh, the O, oh, it was the, um, there might be some vocals that are unwarranted. I felt a gurgly. Right, so, um, yeah, we're chopping through here. So the mission on this, on this squad, of course, is actually getting B1 to AOE every single time just to give him some chance of surviving through till the final round at least. B1 does an absolute ton of damage and he heals and uh, yeah, he's exceptionally integral and unfortunately Grievous does a really good job of killing him. If you see here, we're down to, well, we're on 60 stacks. I'm running without and we'd be in like 150 plus by now. So, Grievous and B1 is uh, not the best of, oh God. So we've got General Kenobi, Padme, and we've got, um, that's why, Pad, you know, Padwin, uh, yeah. We want him gone, that pad, Padawan Anakin. He's just oh, horrible. Padme's reasonably destructive on her own as well. Um, now we're doing 60 stacks here, so we've got the stacks going. Um, looks like my newt is about to hopefully uh, revive on the next hit. <clears throat> this was concerning me. The amount of times I'm hitting Mr. Beardy here and absolutely nothing is seeming to happen. But finally it's the damage takes its toll and yeah 23 stacks 20 stacks so b1 you yes, survive to the end as did everyone else and we're through there uh okay so this is why asarge wasn't in my night sister comp and this one's actually uh, have you noticed but this one I didn't fast forward um, so this one's gonna take a little while Oops, sorry for the background noise um, had my big coffee mm, now for the little one kind of a cortado not sure actually it's it's half espresso half foamed milk so in a, a little cup so the little slurps this time around so um, obviously here we're stuck behind the taunt um, but we're we're making inroads um, I don't think that Jedi Vanguard's going to be there for much longer. There you go. Why did I do that? 
Oh yeah, the buff, that's why. So that should see, will this see close sergeant go? No, that will though. <laughs> I do like that call the assist on one of the AOEs on that B2 super battle droid. Um, and call him Mr. Gnarly and chances are you're gonna get a, a shock stun on that too. <coughs> I don't think I utilize it fully, but right. Clone Sarge, there you go. Clone Sarge is now stunned. Um, and now we've got the sharpshooter, so we want the sharpshooter basically doing these horrible stuff onto um, the battle droid because I can call another one of those in. I can't call in another Dooku or a Sarge. So, one clone down. Other clones also stunned and about to be down. Yes. Sarge is hitting relatively hard and she's also getting her stuns off as well. Um, believe, actually, this was the first go with um, Maya Sarge at gear 13. So... Um, since doing this, of course, or this, this, this particular phase, uh, uh, as I said earlier, I have taken Mother Tows in now up to gear level thirteen. So that that gives me three Night Sisters, um, Asajj, Tows in, and oh, excuse me, Coffee Burp, um, Old Daka. In fact, I even did Old Daka's Zeta. Um, as I took her to gear level 13. Um, sorry, I'm slowing down here, aren't I? Um, I'm also trying to now, <laughs> which sounds ridiculous as I say this out loud, uh, I'm trying to max their mods out as well. So basically, you know, if you're gonna take a 2, 2, 13, we've almost lost Dooku here. Uh, I believe since doing this, um, one of the things I finally clocked or realised, I mean, that oh, come on, there's so much going on, I suppose, with all the tunes, is the fact that Dooku needs the gear pieces to have health steal. He doesn't have any natural health steal. Um, and I think since doing this round, because there goes the Duke, so now it's just a Sarge versus three clones and a reviving Jedi and one of those clones is that Pons who uh, again is um, uh, not very nice not very nice at all well not on the receiving end I mean if we all get him and he's fantastic for us then yeah yeah it's always the way isn't it ours is fantastic theirs is awful or, you know, OP or whatever AI enhanced on defense So we're, we're getting close to getting at least one clone gone. I don't think there's a reviving clone in there, so but we're still stuck. All right, there goes Pons. Um, let's do an AOE. So Sarge has got a load of health back. Ooh, down to red. She gets a bit of health back there. Um, and a lot more there. Uh, so now it's a sergeant and the add-on droid against a level 89 gear 12 Cody. Um, and look at that. Yes. Go on, girl. Go on. Bash his brains in. Slash and dice. I don't know why I did that the way I did that, but yeah, I was, I was pleased about that one there. So we did that mission. Um, what else have I got here? There's something coming up. Where are we going now? Oh, yes, of course. So um, for your viewing pleasure, um, Mikey's Bugs take on the Ackley. There you go. Sorry, I don't... I did say this has been set up for a little bit and I'd forgotten. Even check, you know, check that you're recording. Um, I managed to not record my what Tambor 
mission. I don't know how. I thought I was, and I didn't. So apologies, you won't be getting that this time around. However, you might get something what related. Ooh, spoiler alert. So, um, trying to continue here with the taking out um, AOE hitting Jedi's, or at least getting them primed, ready to take them out. Um, my chosen or electi electi. <coughs> for the assists so Geon Ocean Soldier calling the assist and Poggle giving out whatever it is that he gives out um, the, the the tune, the favourite tune for me is Spy so if you're wondering where it's going each time it's normally going on to Spy Get rid of her, that Jedi Sentinel, AOE Jedi. And of course, as you can see, um, by taking out the the Jedi surrounding the Atclay, um, they have that blue retribution. It's locked in. You can't get rid of their retribution. Um, uh, but what happens is, of course, is that if you kill one of them then all your bugs get a retribution as well and of course that's something that, sorry I don't know what's going on with my voice at the moment that's something that you kind of want well not kind of you definitely want because it just means that they can uh, get extra hits in and let's face it this accolade needs hitting and hitting a lot it's a kinky kinky bug bug it's not, is it a bug? What is it? Looks, look, looks like uh, a greedy crab with too many claws, pincers. But um, yeah, yeah. Also known as an acclay, of course. Uh, that's what it is. Yes, but I don't, do I? Do I? No. Oh, I did. I think I, I used the, the, the Uber hit. Uh, Jedi Consular gone, so he's going to bring in a load more Jedis his next go. Let's get some expose on, so we're, we're getting close um, to getting him in the yellow. Yay, all the Jedis have come back. He's now enraged, and um, quite a few of my tunes are not looking too great. <laughs> That Sentinel's turn meter is way too high. Sentinel is, of course, an AOE hitting um, Jedi, which means that I'm now kind of at risk of getting absolutely smashed by um, an AOE if the Ackley himself itself doesn't. Oh, sweet got rid of one of those Jedi Will we get the other one as well yes there you go so um, doing that basically avoiding hitting the Ackley I don't know if you, you noticed on there but all the bugs have, were back up to full health and then the Ackley went once and uh, we were in danger of losing Poggle at the end there Poggle went into the red Ooh, let's equalize all of this who's that going on to it's going on to spy, I believe. Um, oh, look at that. Finally, we get the uh, the tamer. We just remove that enraged from the Atclay. Atclay is down to yellow. Come on, bugs. Come on. Got him into yellow. Oh, got an assist from the Jedi. Thank you, Mr. Consular. You're not all bad. <gasps> Into the red, uh, into the red, but now we've got bonus protection going. Oh, bonus protection gone. Can we? Dun, 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 dun. Dramatic end music, yay. There you go. And Ackley down again. And that's it. That's my run. Thank you very much for watching.